Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Duke Nukem 2 for the PC, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now, it's been a pretty long time since I did the original Duke Nukem, which of course was all three episodes of that game. Neo LA, the future. Music is a bit loud, so let me reduce that a bit. I apologize if you had to see all this crap. But yeah, it's a little bit edgier than the first Duke Nukem game. I had like to put a smiley face on all headshots. I am back. Oh, he's back, all right. With a vengeance. To put smiley faces on people with no faces at all. Ladies and gentlemen, one of our nation's heroes has disappeared. While Duke was being interviewed on television about his new book, Why well, I'm So Great, Mr. Nukem was abducted by an unknown force. In other news, there's a four-mile-wide UFO floating over Los Angeles. They measure that. We'll be back after this commercial break with a cute little story about a three-legged dog who saved a baby. Which, of course, didn't happen. Meanwhile, an evil Rigelatin Ry sh ship... Hey, where am I? What is this? This isn't TV. No, it's a video game. That's the evil conqueror here. I believe it's my place to tell you why you're being abducted and will have to go through years of painful torture. Sorry, Buster. No can do. I'll just break free, kick butt, and be on my way. Mr. Nukem, please save your energy for the torture room. You see, you're about to take an important place in Earth's history. Too late, Fainhead. I've already been immortalized by defeating Dr. Proton last year. But what did you have in mind? Your brain! You see, we're going to use our famous Super Mega Encephalo Sucker to imprint your brain patterns to our X5G Thinkamag World Computer. You're gonna win a war against Earth for us! I know I've been scrambling reading that, but <laughs> that's pretty much how I roll. So, I'm just supposed to sit by while my brain patterns conquer Earth? Yeah, right. You won't have much of a choice, considering the end result is permanent, irreversible brain damage. I thought being on Oprah already did that. Well, okay. More like brain disruption. Oh, and you'll be in a perpetual state of pain without being able to move any limbs. We'd kill you, you see, but our religion prevents the interruption of suffering. Goodbye, Duke. But it allows brain control? Religion. Smoosh! Duke plummets to a convenient holding facility, where he awaits his almost certain doom in the hands of the evil Rigelitans. Yeah, I think that's what's called, Rigelitans. Well, I guess I've had it. Unless those dopes didn't remove my secret Explodomolar. Oh man, what a bunch of morons! And look! There's a gun locker right outside my cell! This is too easy. Did he even use that Explodomolar? Then what purpose did it serve if he didn't? And we don't need to see credits. But in any case, I did buy it for like $5.99 US dollars down to a 3D Realms Entertainment website, which allows me to get this game along with all four episodes. Yes, there are four episodes in this game. Instead of like three in the original Duke Nukem. So, of course, we're going to do them one at a time, starting with episode one. And you can actually get, like, a skill level, such as easy, medium, or hard. We're gonna go with normal, because, you know, I'm not hardcore, but I'm not softcore either. I'm more, like, midcore. Welcome to Duke Nukem 2! Now, I've been playing some of this game on my own time, and I must say, it is pretty good. I kind of like the control mecha me mechanics of the original Duke Nukem a bit more, because even though there was no music, it just controlled a little bit more freely. Not saying that this game is bad, because it does get a little bit edgier. Sometimes when you go around these cells, you'll see these uh, prisoners try to grab at you. If you know it's going to grab you, just inch closely. Making sure you're not on the direction where the hand's gonna grab you, and then you can go for the kill just by shooting the hand while it's out. Fortunately, these turrets cannot be destroyed with regular gunfire. 
try to destroy the cameras as well because, well, it doesn't really do anything special, but it gives you more bonus points. Finally, I get some health. You also have to be very careful with all this green goop that'll, like, drip down. You can press P to pause the game, and then whenever you press the button, you're back to normal. I picked up a rapid-fire ability just a few seconds ago, so all I need to do is just hold the button to shoot. It does not last forever, though, so keep that in mind. Well, you can't destroy the turrets, you can at least disable them for a little while as long as they're spinning. But at the end, I'm, I, gee, I wonder what else is next. Damn it. And these enemies can sometimes shoot pretty fast, giving you a little notice. I'll definitely grab that, thank you. Yeah, this is gonna blow up eventually, so I'll just let it. Okay, now it's disabling. So I'll just shoot the screen goo to get rid of the goo enemy. There we go. I'll do the same over here as well. The only reason I'm getting rid of the camera is just for bonus points. If you don't want to do that and don't care about points, that's entirely your choice. I'm not gonna hold it against you. Yeah. Duke escaped, and these guys are not doing anything about it. Because they suck. Use the card to turn off force fields. Eh, just like in the original Duke Nukem. Too bad you can't shoot while climbing ladders. But hey, you can't always get what you want. I mean, he's just one man, after all. He sat through Oprah. That's survival enough. Don't even try to shoot me. Oh, Rocket Launcher! Rocket Launcher is very deadly. It is the strongest... ...any weapon. Huh. I don't even know if that's exactly what it said, but if it did, then it's very strange English. It's almost as if Duke recited it himself. Okay, that was bad. That actually took me back where I started. Note to self, don't go down that hole again. I definitely will do, like, all the levels in every episode. Well, I don't think I have a choice in the levels, because they're sequential. But yes, I will do all four episodes, just to show off this game. I've never finished it before. I've played through, like, some parts of Episode 1, and a little bit of Episode 4, just to see what it's all about. Needless to say, it does get harder, as it should. Health. I really needed it, and I get the letter U! Okay, I still got a little bit of ammo in this rocket launcher left. Sector secure. That's pretty much a checkpoint. Whenever you die, you'll just end up back there. So it's not like you have to do the whole level over if you die. Because chances are, you will die a lot. This game is not easy compared to the original Duke Nukem, and I'm out of rocket launcher ammo. Yeah, it was good while it lasted. I almost got shot in the head. Got a bit lucky there. I mean, that guy got shot in the back and never did anything about it. Man, these right gelatins suck. Okay, that was my fault there. What's this gonna be? Laser? This weapon can shoot through anything. Anything? Yes, well, pretty much anything. Damn it, can I shoot that? Oh, I gotta like, shoot the slime first. Let's get rid of all that. Rapid fire as well with the laser. 
way. Now I got the E, so I'm looking for the M next. I'm spelling Nukem here. Duke Nukem 1, I was spelling Dunk Duke. Next is granted. I'll shoot you in that a few times. Lift. All you have to do is just hold up or down to use it. Turbo lift, that's what it's called. I saw some points drop down here. 10,000, that's a lot. Press up or enter to use the teleporter. I'm not worried about the rapid fire. Let me just use the teleporter to get out of here. I don't know how many levels I'm going to do per video. It depends on how long the levels are. The only reason this is going to be likely being a one level video is because the intro was a bit long. I will admit. No, you will not take my brain. My brain is mine and mine alone. Deal with it. Might as well let those point orbs fall from the sky. Make the most of them. Apparently there are birds on this planet as well. So we gotta be careful with them. Alright, so whatever I do in certain levels will get me more points. So just taking out the cameras, taking out all the enemies. I think there's one for taking out all the enemies. They're spelling out Nukem. And I think there might be one for not taking any damage at all. I'm not 100% sure on this one. But it's likely never going to happen because I tend to take a lot of damage. And you can name your safe file anything you want. Uh, let's just call it uh, LP, why not? Okay, I gotta take down four radar units. I know my position is tracked. Fortunately, these mechanical spiders can be a pain in the ass because they are so small, you have to duck to shoot them. Provided you aren't in a position to hit them at all, and that explosion, explosion actually took out the soda can. I didn't need it at the time, but I do now. Water doesn't hurt me, does it? Please don't hurt me. Okay, it doesn't. Duke Nukem, greatest man of all time, gets hurt by water. What's this? Oh, that was the end. And unlike the uh, first game, there actually are bottomless pits in Duke Nukem 2. It gets a bit cumbersome to deal with these mechanical spiders when you're, like, in the water. This item will give you one unit of health. So, basically, it functions the exact same as the soda. I don't think it was a health upgrade. I think, if anything, it was just regular health. Damn, spiders, stop latching onto me! When you shake them off, they go away. I get to you. Awesome. It's one radar dish down. I'm pretty sure I have to take them all out to finish the level. Or not. Yeah, I can just keep shooting this so it can go. I didn't want to shoot too many times, otherwise I would hit the soda. And I don't want that. That must be another car key. Take it! Because obviously I'm likely going to need it. And the phone rings. Time out, everyone. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was just another telemarketer saying that I won a free trip in exchange for personal information. Then it's not free now, is it? Some people lack common sense. Anything to scam you. But in any case, enough with scams. It's time for scabs. 
Wait, that don't sound right because they're mechanical, so they like they won't be growing any scabs. If anybody's gonna get scabs, it'll be me. I think I'm the only human here. I mean, I'm dealing with stupid alien birds, and mechanical spiders, and radar dishes. Obviously, aren't organic. They're for the count. It just sucks that the spiders blend in, therefore they can be a bit difficult to locate- Oh, come on, I had no way to defend myself there. All I can do is take out this radar dish. I'm so glad that enemies do not respawn. Oh, that was beautiful. Well timed. Can I take out that spider too? Yes, I can. Oh god, there's like multiple spiders down here. Wait, is that an alive turkey? Come here. And I can eat it. I wonder if I shot it, would it be better? Because I remember in Duke Nukem 1, if you shot a turkey leg, it became a full turkey, which gave you more health. I think it applies here in this game as well. But that was a live turkey. At least this game maintains a very good sense of humor, which I like. One of the reasons I enjoy the Duke Nukem series. Though I've never played Duke Nukem forever, I've heard it's a pretty bad game. Not worth the wait. Which felt almost like forever. It nearly lived up to its name there. If they just delayed it a few more years. I did play Duke Nukem P 3D before, like you know the one on the PC, which was also ported on N64. Funny thing is, I actually found it on a school computer. Yes. Porno movie scenes and all. At high school. I never downloaded, somebody else did. I was thinking, how the hell did that actually make it on without the uh, computer lab teachers thinking, oh my god, we can't have this on there. But yeah, I actually played this in class. The uh, computer teacher who saw me play Duke Nukem 3D is thinking, that, oh no, you can't play this. And then I fired a rocket launcher at the movie screen during the whole porno skit, and she gave me a pat on the back! Which pretty much said, oh, okay, you can play now. You already did your work, Bonga. Well, she didn't call me Bonga, because obviously my real name is Clint. That's what she called me by. But you know, I'm just doing it to her storytelling. I would not get away with that if it came to, like, Hexen or Doom, those kind of games. Or the old Grand Theft Auto games. Okay, what the hell is going on with all those spiders? They're just blown across? It's kind of like Chicago now. It's blowing all over the place. And I didn't take out all the radar dishes, either. Boom! Headshot! This didn't really take me anywhere. I must have got another letter. Yeah, and you... E, yeah, I got the E. But I didn't get a K. So I'm guessing I'm not done around this area yet. Oh man, that was bad. Eh, just send me back. That sucks. I think I gotta go this way? No, it can't be that way. Where am I supposed to go again? It's so easy to get lost here. The radar doesn't really do you much justice. I mean, all it does is detect life. It doesn't really give you a map. There's some points that just fell down. I gotta look for the other radars. And the K. You know, just to show I'm going in the right path. Not necessarily for the points, though the points aren't so bad. 
guess I have to go this way. To over here? Oh my god, are you kidding me? What I'd give to jump just a little bit higher. You know, for Duke Nukem and Mario to switch bodies for like a few seconds. I'll take this gun and a jump higher. I got a meat balls of a steel. <laughs> that would just be weird. Worst crossover ever, or probably the best one. It's either going to be the worst or it's going to be the best. There's, there's no middle ground. If Duke Nukem and Mario had a crossover. Blowing up Bowser with a machine gun. It would just be downright weird. Alright, let's try this. Okay, that worked. Get the spider off of me! Thank you. You spiders, you're just plain won't exist. Okay, that was a bad spot to put a bird. I think this is where I found a radar dish? I don't know, maybe. Maybe not. Like that spider there, and the second I have to die. Okay, so you, you can shoot turkeys for more health. I think if you die, the enemies that you killed will still be killed as well. So they kind of made this game quite easy. Oh, the laser. Awesome. Okay, there's the K. There's just a unit of health. I mean, what's the point of having an item like this if you can already get health through, like, soda cans? I'm guessing it's because that particular item does not get destroyed when it gets shot. Therefore, it gives you a little bit of a leeway. If you really care for that sort of thing. Yeah, I still only find about two radar dishes. That worries me. I've been on this level for quite a while now. Let me try a different direction. You know, even Duke Nukem does not like one direction. Am I right, guys? I mean, he likes Oprah now and then, but he has limits. Come on now. Given at the time that One Direction obviously didn't exist. Thankfully, that was a good times. I mean, this was 1993. I mean, what were the big uh, male icons at the time? New Kids on the Block? Were they still around in 93? I don't know. I mean, it was well before Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. God, I don't really remember the 90s all that much. Probably the only band I mostly listened to in the 90s around that time, Foo Fighters, maybe Collective Soul, Tea Party, Metallica, Korn to some extent, Godsmack. Uh, well, 10,000 points is better than nothing, so I didn't get all the radar dishes. Disappointing, but uh, I can't always get what you want. I'm not here for completion, and I didn't even get the M either. So I missed a couple things. But it's not going to stop you from doing, from getting the levels, I mean, which is good. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, I said stop, please. We're going to do level three of episode one. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.